they get raped because they're we have not created an environment for them to learn about their sexuality we don't teach them how to drink alcohol we don't teach them how to to use drugs we forbid forbid them from using it yet we're drug addicts open up go there in your bathroom and open up the cabinet and there's 30 different bottles of different prescription medication so you're a drug addict and you're taking or we're drug addicts and taking all these pills but then we're not teaching our children anything so what happened they're 13 14 15 years old they go to a party they get fucked up because they're drinking or partying and then the next thing is they get raped so it's all wrong from the beginning to the end so we have to go through a revolution but number one is we have to admit number one we cannot be in this denial any longer and denying that this is not a problem and this doesn't exist because it's our biggest hang-up in this life. Your parents didn't want to talk to you about sexuality. They didn't want to have anything to do with it. Who did you learn anything about sexuality? Maybe some of you were lucky after you started your, your or the girls, some of them, maybe after they started their menstrual cycle, maybe the mom came and talked to you for five minutes. Or nowadays, maybe some of them in Western society, the parents are more modern. And, and so mom takes a 13, 14 year old daughter and put them on birth control pills, which is a horrible thing to do because it leads into creating leaky gut. So later on, you have a leaky gut because you were on birth control pills and you took a lot of antibiotics and stuff like that. So, nobody's really teaching you anything about it you have to learn it in school from friends or on online so the whole system is screwed up when it comes to this and we have to start with ourselves we have to number one always take responsibility for yourself and educate yourself that's what we need to do by educating ourselves and this is a very sensitive area so a lot of people you know when I'm in my workshops and my retreats if I start talking about it everyone starts to get like nobody wants to really talk about it uh hilda i got your message thanks for the insta i don't know why i try to broadcast live on instagram and and it doesn't happen this is like third time that has happened either something's wrong with my phone or there's something's wrong with the application i don't know so but thank you for your message i got your message cool anybody has any question any comments do you want to wave at me or un uh, mute uh, mute yourself unmute yourself or write on the chat box nothing nobody wants to talk about it okay yeah hi um Breda. Hi, Breda. Hi. Yeah, um, well, welcome I back. Understand. Thank you. I understand um, what you've been saying. I'm in full agreement with you. Uh, what's coming to me, and, and Tantra is not new to me, but I, I, my, my question to you is, what is the solution that you see, seeing that 
of the word is as it is, and that Tantra is seen as negative, etc., etc. And with the young children, of course, the education and everything else. In other words, what building blocks need to be put in? What could we do? What can the world do? Um, we, I think we all pretty much know it's, it's a problem. And pornography and uh, uh, I mean, it's totally rife. And uh, the abuse of children and marriage abuse, everything else. So there's nothing particularly new there, though. When you hear it all put together, it's quite distressing uh, that it's so widespread. Um, what can you offer us as perhaps a way out of this? Right. On the positive? Right. Well, the... I mean, these are general guidelines that I'm talking about. Of course, I'm not... Uh, I haven't spent all my life on this subject to uh, dwell on it or it's the it's things that I recognize it's as I went along like how come something that I very much love and I think about it because I love sex and something that my whole being desires to have literally every day is so distant and so far away and it's unapproachable and it's very much attached to guilt and shame so it made me to look deeper into it and then when i had uh tantric experiences that with a partner that i went into these spaces of complete divine oneness of losing my identity as a separate separate person from the whole from the source and and coming into this spaces of complete like oh my god oh my god of coming into the godhead of pure divine consciousness pure oneness then <coughs> excuse me it made me it led me to this more investigation of trying to figure this out that there is something really majorly wrong here 